Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to another day of the home workout challenge. Today is a rest day. Um, I hope that you've had a read of the booklets that you were sent when you signed up. If you haven't got those, please, please, please sign up using the link in the description box. It will tell you all you need to know about this challenge. Today's video, as you, I've already said, is a rest day uh, and also an active rest day. So we're gonna be doing some stretching, working on our mobility. It's gonna be super chilled. I've decided not to do a voiceover for this. I'm just gonna talk you through it as we go Go along because I think that helps a lot sometimes particularly with stretching and mobility videos because of the kind of pace of it it's not to a timer it's very free form I really hope you enjoy today and that you're having a really peaceful and restful day I hope you're not too achy and that you're enjoying the plan let me know how you're finding it in the comments I would love to just encourage you and chat with you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you like it share the program with a friend join me on instagram and twitter and yeah let's get into the video <laughs> all right so you can grab a mat if you need one i'm just going to be doing this on the carpet because it's good enough um, if you need a mat or a towel feel free to grab one and um, i want you to sit with your legs crossed however's comfortable uh, i always forget what the comfortable crossing of my legs is um, but yeah, just sit down with your legs crossed and we're gonna start off with some really simple head movements. We're just gonna stretch out the neck and the upper body. So looking to your side, I'm looking to my right hand side. Just take some deep breaths. We're gonna take this really slowly. Feel free to like <laughs> close your eyes and just, just relax. We're going to look to the left, other side. Then we're going to bring the head forward. I want you to take a deep breath. Bring the shoulders up and roll them back and down and just feel the neck elongate as we do that again. So we're going to turn and look over the shoulder. Shoulders press down, neck nice and long. left of the side and we're going to bring the chin to the chest as we feel the stretch down the back of our neck and head up shoulder rolls forward so bring the shoulders forward making nice circles kind of exaggerating the movement you can totally stand up to do this by the way I'm just sitting down because it's a little bit easier um, for the camera angle <laughs> I didn't want to have to get out two cameras um, so just keep rolling those shoulders back then we're gonna come the other way going forward so as it says in the plan, um, you should do a number of, you know, there's a number of different options of warm-ups that you can do for before this stretch. Uh, it's best to stretch on like an already warm body. Um, so when we're doing static stretching, it's good to already have the blood flowing. Uh, so make sure that you've signed up and have a pack because it will give you that kind of information. All right, and then we're gonna bring one arm across the body. So feeling the stretch in the tricep as we bring that arm across the body, sitting up nice and tall. Just going to stretch out the tricep and the shoulder there. And by the way, I know that this sounds weird, but please listen to your body. Um, I always used to just find it funny when it fitness instructors would say listen to your body but genuinely if you have like a tight spot like right now my left wrist is feeling a little a little summon so I'm just moving it around and um, feel free to do that as we switch on to the other arm feel free to kind of just listen to your body and if something is feeling like okay you need to hold that out a bit longer then do that you don't have to do the exact same thing that I'm doing this is just a guide 
mind, <laughs> essentially. Really feeling that stretch. You can kind of hold the arm with your other arm and lock it in. Amazing, then we're gonna bring one arm up and behind. So you should be kind of reaching, let me show you, kind of reaching towards your back with the arm touch behind, using the free arm to pull the elbow back. You're reaching down towards the shoulder blades. This is gonna give a really good stretch in the tricep, in the shoulder. We're just gonna hold that there, sitting up nice and tall. Again, you can stand to do this. Um, I just kind of like sitting down. <laughs> and we're going to switch to the other arm. So bring the arm up and back. Oh, this is like such a weak point for me personally. <laughs> my shoulder mobility. But that's okay. It's not a competition. <laughs> it's totally okay to start where you are. Um, you don't have to be able to reach down to your lumbar spine while doing this. I mean, that would be a little bit concerning if you could. Just holding that stretch, deep breaths. In and out. And relax. What we're going to do next is we're going to come down over one side. So holding the floor, holding the floor, placing a hand on the floor. We're going to bring one arm up and over as we feel the stretch through the side of our body. So you should be feeling the stretch down here, letting the weight of your head carry you over and just catching the weight of your upper body in the arm that's on the floor. So the forearm on the floor. I'm just going to hold it there. And then we're going to switch onto the other side. So allowing the weight of your head to carry you over so you feel the stretch, reaching as far as you can and just relaxing in this position. Make sure you're not kind of tipping forward or tipping back. You want to just be keeping in that midline. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to walk it forward. So I want you to just walk forward and reach out in front of you, okay? So we're reaching out, can you see me? <laughs> reaching out in front, and again, just allow the weight of your head to carry you over your legs. So feeling that stretch in the upper back, lower back, and also in the inner thighs as well, if you're not as comfortable in this position. And then we're gonna walk it over to one side. And just feel the stretch, rounding the head over the knee. Holding it there, taking deep breaths in through the nose. And out through the nose. Or mouth, whatever's more comfortable. <laughs> and then we're going to walk it onto the other side. Just Feeling that stretch. Can you feel it? I can really feel that uh, through my side. And just hold it there. And then walk it back to centre. And come up. Okay, amazing. So now what I'd like you to do is to just take your feet in your hands. So depending on your flexibility, your level of flexibility, um, you might need to bring your feet further out and away from you, or you might be able to bring them right up to your bottom. Um, so bringing your feet in together, then face together. Um, and I just want to sit in this pose for a while. So allowing the knees to open out. You should feel the stretch in the inner thigh. I'm just going to sit in this position for a moment, allowing the weight of your legs to really just open out. Try and pull the feet in towards the body as much as you can. Shoulders, back, neck nice and long, keeping good posture in the upper body as we feel the stretch in the inner thigh. I'm just going to come to the side 
so that you can see me. Um, so those of you who are more flexible than me, you might be able to get your knees a lot closer to the ground, and that's good, that's good, You're, you are my goals. <laughs> But otherwise, just, you know, wherever you are, that's totally cool. Just hold on to your feet, keep nice and tall. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And feel that stretch in the inner thighs. Then what I'd like us to do is actually intensify that stretch a little. How we're going to do that, uh, by the way, you don't have to move as I'm moving. I'm only moving to, like, show you the different angles of the stretch. Sorry. <laughs> um, but how we're going to do that is we're going to hold on to our ankles and actually use our elbows to push the knees further towards the floor. So still sitting up, shoulders nice and low, just pushing with the arms, pushing the elbows down closer to the floor. You can rock with it. Just intensifying that stretch a little longer because that's the best way to kind of increase uh, your flexibility. You want to do stretches regularly um, and you want to bring a stretch to the point where you can you, where you can feel it, you feel you can't go any further. Just ease it off a little bit and hold it there. Hold it there for 10. And it should start to ease and then you push a little further, ease back and hold it there again. Um, flexibility is one of those things that you have to do reg regularly, so you have to stretch regularly, like daily, in order to see progress. So if you've been stretching for a while now and you're thinking, oh my flexibility isn't increasing, um, just keep at it, it, it takes a little while. Okay, so from this position, what I want you to do is hold on to either your feet, your ankles, or your calves, wherever is more comfortable for you. And I want you to straighten the legs. So bringing the legs out straight in front, so we're then getting a lovely stretch. Oh, I can feel that. <laughs> in our calves and hamstrings. So you might be holding onto your, car your calves, your shins, that's totally okay, but just feeling that stretch. I want you to cock the feet back, so bring the feet back, po toes pointing towards the head, feeling that stretch in the calves, oh that's good. I love stretching, I really do. It's just such a good release. Um, and then we're gonna come back to this position that I can't remember the name of. <laughs> Just push with your elbows, feeling the stretch in the inner thighs. Holding that for a second, you can rock from side to side if you like. It's okay to be a little bit fidgety. <laughs> And then we're going to stretch back out and this time what we're going to do is round the head over so again allowing the weight of the head to carry us over you can move your feet around a little bit in this position so you'll notice when you point your feet it releases a little bit and then when you bring your toes back towards the face, it intensifies in the calf. So just again, listen to your body, move around as you feel is needed. And then I want you to reach as far as you can and try and bring the head to the knees. Too. <laughs> Normally I could go a bit further, but 
your gal has clearly been skipping this strategy. Um, so yeah, you just wanna lean forward over that leg, rounding the head down to the knee, as far as you can. And when you feel like, oh, that's a lot, that's okay, just hold it there. Hold it there for 10. And then ease forward as, as, as you can, okay? So don't, don't over push it. It's, it is actually super important to listen to your body when stretching. <laughs> And, and the only person who can do that is you. So you got this, I believe in you. And we're just gonna hold that there. And I want you to come up. And this time, we're gonna round over a little bit different. So what I want you to do is to try and sit up straight so that you have good posture, a nice neutral spine. And this time, instead of getting our head to our knee, we're gonna try and get our chest to our knee. And that's gonna add a lot of integrity to the stretch. You might find that you can't go quite as far. Um, but I just want you to think of pushing your chest down, keeping that neutral spine, pushing your chest towards the knee rather than your head. So your head is still up and you should feel a really good stretch there. And just keeping that integrity in the spine so we're not rounding over like we were before we're just keeping that good neutral spine as we reach forward towards the foot again you can play around with your foot as you will and um, i never stretch in shoes i'm that weird person at the gym who takes their shoes off so i feel like feet matter you know your feet And come back up. Awesome. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move this leg around to make a little, a little triangle. Um, so again, we should have that L shape, 90 degree angle if we can between our thighs. Um, the foot flat against that thigh. If it needs to be a bit further out, that's okay. And I want us to turn so that our shoulders are in line with the foot that's stretched out, with the leg that's stretched out. So we're not facing here. We're facing here. And again, we're going to reach for that foot. And this time we're going to get quite a good stretch in the back. So reaching over towards that foot, I want you to round your head down towards your knee as much as you can. If you're here, that's okay. So shoulders in line with the leg that's straightened out. Just getting that full stretch. Feeling the stretch of the lats and the hamstring and the calves and the foot. And just hold it there. And back up. Amazing, now we're gonna come on to the other leg. So switching the other leg and starting in the position uh, with the leg turned away. We're going to lean forward over the straight leg, reaching towards the toes and rounding the head over. Just hold it there. And come back up, deep breath in, roll the shoulders back. And this time we're gonna to aim to get our chest to our knees. So just walking forward, keeping the integrity of the spine. We're not rounding it over, we're just pushing the chest forward towards the knee, feeling that intensified stretch as we walk our hands out towards the foot. How are you doing? Are you okay? Good. I always find it weird asking that because I just kind of have to check in the comments later whether you're actually okay. Pushing the chest forward. Uh, 
and back up. Well done. Cool. So then we're going to move that leg around so that the foot is flat. We've got that little triangle, 90 degree angle as much as we can. And we're going to repeat. So first time just reaching for the foot, rounding the back over. Again, trying to keep those shoulders square on the leg in front. Um, so there's a temptation to just kind of turn out like this. But I want to keep the shoulders facing the floor, facing the stretched out leg. And we're gonna come up. And then we're gonna go back down. But this time, just walking the chest towards the knee. Still with me? Yeah, you are. Sorry. Really pushing the chest down, feeling that stretch through the back. What I find is I like to hold on to my foot and then point my toes, and that will really just pull that arm forward and intensify the stretch. And back up. And then what we're going to do is come into this position. <laughs> so feet on the floor, knees pointed up. And what I want you to do is just allow your legs to roll to each side. So just feeling that motion, hands supporting the weight of the upper body, neck nice and long, I don't want your shoulders hunched, neck nice and long, squeezing the shoulder blades together. We're going to roll to each side round up this little little stretch moment amazing then we're gonna come back into a seated position like so and we are done <laughs> thank you so much for stretching with me um, I hope you feel a little bit more relaxed that stretching was mainly focused on the hamstrings and the calves. Um, yeah, I hope you feel good and that you're enjoying this workout challenge. I will see you guys tomorrow for another day of the home workout challenge. Please use the hashtag to let me know how you're getting on, by the way. I'll be stalking through Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, I guess, <laughs> searching that hashtag to see how you guys are doing. And um, yeah, have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.